Hey guys, it's Greg. Uh, happy Sunday afternoon to you. Couldn't tell you the date if I wanted to. <laughs> uh, I think it's like the 23rd. I may be even wrong on that. Uh, let me go ahead and get this out of the way because there's some new people. Listen, I have fibromyalgia. I have to take gabapentin in order to function. Gabapentin is the worst fucking drug on the earth. It messes with your memory really bad. And it's hard for me to stay on point and focus. So I talk real slow. I get sidetracked. Just speed the video up if you need to. Okay, with that said, uh, Matt and I from Quantum of Conscious, C O N S C I E N C E, for any new person that stumbles on us, is not aware of Matt. I know most of you are here because of Matt. And like him I love the comments I love interacting I like to see you interact with each other how that naturally seems to come about because it just gives me better ideas you know um, he and I were talking the other day God we talked forever that day it was great I love those conversations because we bounce ideas off each other pretty good but he, he said something about he saw something, uh, some source from, he saw something, I don't know what the source was, where it was, if it was a, a video or he heard it or what, I don't know, can't remember. But it was talking about uh, the Matrix. Okay. Like anybody that's here, we normally believe that we live in some kind of a construct, right? Basically a matrix. And except the movie, The Matrix, and then the second one, uh, when he gets out, it might have even been the third one. Hell, I don't know. When he the, they wreck the Nebuchadnezzar and he gets out and the Sentinels are chasing him down and he does his little Star Wars Force shit and he kills the Sentinels. I never in my life have thought of this, but this guy that Matt saw has. And I've ever since I've talked to Matt, that shit's been in my mind. Can you dig this? Neo being on the outside, thinking they're in the real world, but yet he still has the ability to stop the Sentinels. Wouldn't that be like them just jumping another layer to there's more layers of the Matrix? And they're just like in the next level, the next layer, what they think is real. Yet he still has power to stop that shit. Now in the Matrix, we realize that telekinetic power and stuff like that would be you being able to manipulate the physics of the source code. So when he does this, wouldn't that be the same thing? I mean, is that not, I mean, that's a damn, oh, damn, that's some deep shit, you know? It's like, um, kind of like when you're playing the game, which I don't play anymore, but when you're playing a game and you go through this level and you know that you're going to the next level because you've completed all the tasks, except you know you're in the game and you know that you're going to another level they don't realize that they're in a second 
layer of the matrix. But wouldn't you think that he would actually figure that shit out? That once he had the power to stop the Sentinels, he would figure out that, wait a minute. I'm, not, I'm How am I able to do this? We're not out yet. So, I don't know. That's just been on my mind. and It never crossed my mind to realize that him being able to stop the Sentinels, he should have realized then that he wasn't out. And I didn't realize it either because I'm just as damn stupid. So... But somebody did because Matt saw this and he was telling me about it. And maybe Matt will elaborate on it. Uh, maybe he'll leave a comment and leave the source of where it was. I don't know. Uh, maybe he can do a video and elaborate more on this concept because I'm not as eloquent as he is. Uh you know, that shit really blew my mind. I mean, I'm still tripping on that, you know. It's stayed in my mind. I'm still, you know, and I haven't yet gone back to watch, to rewatch all the Matrix, which I think I will, but it's still rolling, you know. I'm like, damn, that shit's deep. You know, <laughs> you remember the old SNL stuff where what Jan, John Handy's deep thoughts and shit <laughs> just like a damn John Handy deep thought to me you know this shit's in my fucking mind and now I can't get it out and I don't believe our consciousness is here okay I believe that our consciousness is elsewhere but we're slammed into these bodies the whole thing's a construct and then we have to interact with each other we have to make our choices it's, it's basically like avatar but not exactly but it's, it's the same idea and for some reason we're here we have to make a choice because why the hell would we be here I mean, there's something that we have to do. Otherwise, why would we be here? And I think that maybe you can agree that who you are as a person is not part of the physical. It's, it's like I've done with these, these SD cards before, you know. I can take this SD card and I can put an, a Linux operating system on this SD card. I can boot up to that laptop and in Linux. Or I can put some type of DOS on it. I can put whatever the hell I want to on it and boot up to this operate to this com this computer using a completely different operating system. This weighs the same. It weighs the same no matter regardless of what software is on it this is the hard hardware the hardware this is the hardware this is the hardware who I am and what resides here in my body is not it's the software and for some reason we're here we're here to interact with each other for some reason. So, you know, maybe it's to find true love, which a lot of people don't find. That's very rare. And per, to be honest with you, personally, I think that there's only very few people on this earth that actually fit you like a lock and key. But, what do I know? All right, just wanted to kind of get that idea of what Matt and I were talking about out because Neo, they wreck the Nebuchadnezzar. Neo gets out and all of a sudden he's still got the damn power to stop these Sentinels, you know, and kill them. 
and they don't realize that that's not real that they're still in the damn matrix that he's still manipulating the code I don't know it's just a damn interesting thought so maybe Matt will elaborate on that because he's a lot more eloquent than I am and my memory doesn't work as well as his so okay guys have a good one please be good to everyone else take care